Hey YouTube, you have Leonard here. Bringing you guys and gals, Day Day Live, we're here, season four, episode six. Um, we're hopping right into this. We're hopping right into this, I'm excited. Um, it looks like Shido has new resolve after last episode. He's going to go after Mukuro once again, and I'm assuming we're going to have like a giant space battle. So I'm expecting some Star Wars, some Gundam Seed um, type of battles going down here. So we're going to hop right into this because um, I'm short on time, so we're going to have to rush this a little bit. But everyone, per the usual, hit that like button. Greatly appreciate it. And of course, follow me on Twitch. Link in the description box down below. You can drop me a follow there. Where I do all my live reactions on the Twitch side. So definitely come through. We have a good time, all of us here. Uh, so yeah. We're going to start this episode. We're going to begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I feel like in this type of a battle, Origami, in all honesty, Origami is broken. Well, not broken. I shouldn't say that. They're, if anything, Westcott is actually broken. But Origami's, like, say day power is very, very powerful. Just in terms of pure offensive prowess. I'd say the strongest Seide that we have on our side is Origami and then Toka. Sorry, not Origami. It, it's 1A, 1B. Origami and Toka are, like, the strongest that we have. Technically, Kotori should be as well, but Kotori is a little bit unpredictable, of course, because she's not always in set in form. Oh, shoot. What the? I didn't expect to see Westcott here. His stupid bells a bubble. This thing. Yo. This isn't good. Belizebub. This man's power is too strong. It, she is. Like, Origami really is. She has the best of both worlds. And even, like, her Sede powers kind of mimic what she does when she's the mage. It's actually crazy. They're fighting? Can Elliot fight? Does he still have Sede powers? What the? Unit name, what? Wait, what the? Oh, I wish I can go back. I couldn't see exactly what his tag said. I saw his name and it said unknown. Still don't know how she lost the token season two. She lost the token because of plot. That's literally why she lost. <laughs> Granted, to be fair, though, it's so hard to say because Toka was losing to her. Toka lost her at least two different times, I feel, in Season 3, to be fair. But you can tell that Toka's the closest in power to Origami. I, I would make the argument, if I try to power scale this, I'd say the inverse Toka... I really do think Toka... Like, inverse Toka, I think, is the strongest. In my personal opinion, Inverse Origami and Inverse Toka both are ridiculously strong, but I take Inverse Toka. But I think it's like literally they're very close. One powered by like pure revenge, the other one powered by like just emptiness. So I don't know who gave Kotori Origami and Miku the crystals become Sede. This is true. And Nia as well. We know, but we don't have, like, specific details into how it happened. That's the thing. Um, we include Nia in that as well, because we know that Nia also is not a natural Sede. Um, and it's possible, because I, I said this before with Nia. I don't think she throws it out there, and the story would put it out there for nothing. It is possible that all of them were people at some point in time, but we don't know. Hey, that CG greatness. Well, that CG's not that bad. The Archangel. Yeah, see, to me, I look at this battle and I literally feel like I'm watching Gundam Seed. Or any type of Gundam, quite frankly. DM. DM. 
That indeed. That indeed. Well, I think Nia has. I really think that Nia just took it back. But I think Nia knows. That's why I feel like, again, she wouldn't throw that out haphazardly. The Gundam battle begins. I've come to take you. Facts. That's also facts. <laughs> She actually might kill you. Be careful, Shido. This is like some Gates of Babylon. Okay, the CG is not that good. Okay, this is kind of gross. I don't need this. I don't want to look at this. This is actually... Uh... Everything was good until I started seeing Shido dodging. I can see Ellen getting betrayed. Oh, that's true. Look at Natsumi coming in. Not to become in clutch. Yo, get Origami out there. Let's go. Yuzu and Kaguya. I'm ready. Man, you need... At the bare minimum, you need Origami and Toka. Origami can handle it. What is this? Oh, is that the thing that Elliot had? I, to be fair, I didn't even think about Natsumi's power being used to copy the key. That's that's honestly very smart. I didn't even think about that. So you guys are better than me. Yo, get him. Eden. Eden! <laughs> oh, they know that history changed. How do they know? Oh, it's true, because with Beelzebub, he's a Satan now, so he should... Be oh, that makes sense. Oh, she doesn't know? Oh, maybe this man will betray her at some point. Wait a second, she didn't know that he went down there? Ellen knows she, they changed history, yes. If Ike knows because he's now a Sid and he has Beatles above, then he would have just let her know. So that makes perfect sense to me. Only people who have, like, said it, I would know that history changed. No, you can't. I hope Eden gets wrecked. Yo, I love Cole today. This is literally... The fact that he's copying here because he has the meters as well. It kind of gives me like the vibes of like... Fate Unlimited Blade Works. When you have like, what you call it? 
Emiya versus Gilgamesh. Kind of reminds me of that. Because he's able to like copy everything. Oh, shoot. Origami? Ooh, Origami looking good. Oh, this is hype. But I really hate the CG. I really hate the CG, guys. It's rough because the art itself is good. But the Shido's... Not the Shido. The CG's killing me. Honestly, Eden could die and I'd be fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, she's kind of flipped the same thing on you, but. What the? <laughs> I'm still watching. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's just a little sad sometimes because, like, the art this season, I feel I actually have really grown to like the art. Sede powers Megaton Megaton Let's go Origami It's about to go strike freedom on them Starbird sixty degrees Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this looks really nice. Oh. Crystals? Force field? Hey, James, I'll, I'll compare what I want and compare. I'm just speaking facts. What the? Did it just trap? Did it just travel through? Wait, what the? Oh, that was cool. Did it just travel through like light speed temporarily? Like, what was that? Or dimension? Be scorched by the flames of God. That was. It's like travel. It's warping. It's literally warping. This is so cool. Oh, no. From where? Oh. So using their power, they're able to... That knock him a power up. Let's go. So the stated power is powering it. Interesting. My enemy never fights by herself outside of Gideon. I mean, she's the captain, though. I understand that. That's like saying, why doesn't Colt... Oh, shoot! Direct hit. But that's like saying, why doesn't Colt to get out of the ship and fight using her powers? It's She's the commander of the ship. This man is Emia. Unlimited Blade Works. Let's go. Huh? Not me? Oh, some Kage Bunshin style stuff. What the? This was straight out of the Naruto playbook. Kage Bunshin no jutsu. 
get wrecked. That was Naruto versus Ned. That, that was beautiful. That was like Naruto versus Neji Shadow Clone in the hole. And the Naruto ex Sasuke when he was like the demon when shooting can. So true. Oh, I love that. That was hype. Who's she attacking? Mukuro? No! She's scared now. Sadakin! Shido? Well, he's gonna die. Wait, if he falls outside the territory. Oh, this is from the trailer now. Wait. Oh, now her heart's awake, at least. Is that the episode? Oh no, we have 15 minutes. Well, it's been 15 minutes. We're good. Mukuro flashback. This girl is on fire. Aww. Was he seeing her memories? This man died. She was doing the arm and rose cosplay. Dang. Dang. What? They lost Mukuro? How? Oh, I think I like her. What the? Yo, why are you all up on him? Mukuro equals Kuro Giri. <laughs> she is though, you're right. You did save her life. Opened her heart, saved her, etc. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Wait. Where is she going? Where did she go? I mean, she was before. I want to hear that from Miku. Oh my. I like her a lot. Nia's become one of my favorites. I, I love Nia. Didn't think I was going to like her, but I love Nia. Very mature. Very mature. Is he connected to her psyche? Is that possible? No. Oh, Lord. Oh, <laughs> no! No, damn it. Why? Why? 
Why? Just let him relax. Let him breathe. Let him breathe. Shiro actually has legit harem. Oh my gosh. The Yamai sisters. He can't heal like this. Yo, Gerald, what's up? All's good. But good to see you. Good to see you nonetheless. Hey. Be okay, best girl Nia. <laughs> Shido can't breathe. He was supposed to relax. This wasn't the way. Origami doesn't care. What the? This man got wrecked. Wait, what's called lost? What's called lost? Wait, how did Elliot beat him? How? What does Elliot have? So Elliot has clearly the armor, whatever, the mage armor that Origami has as well, the little thing. But does he have Sede powers as well? <clears throat> Killed Elliot without question. What is his goal? Yeah, Dalton, yeah. I'm so confused. Did Westcott want to defeat Elliot? What the? Where's she taking him? Mukuro's a problem. Where are they? He did say that. Where are they? Is that Tokyo Tower? 100%. 100%. Top of my ending. Let's go. This is a good episode. Very, very good episode. I definitely enjoyed this. I love this ending as well. Too many good endings this season. I always say that. Um, so I guess next episode we're going to get the Mukuro date. Because he still has to technically like... Well, he's done one thing. He's unsealed her heart. But he has to seal her power still. So she's going to fall in love with him. He has to seal the deal with the kiss basically. And then we should be good to go after next episode. Um, and then I guess once the Mukuro stuff is resolved... We're probably going to have something else to do with Westcott, or we're going to finally get Kudumi coming back in the story. I feel it was the same way with, like, season three. Like, once the stuff with, like, the say like, the girls was done, then it was like the new threat would appear. So I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen now. Um, it might have to be Kudumi. Maybe Kudumi will do something in the next few episodes um, after Mukuro is sealed. <laughs> Toka forever my favorite character. I'll forever be loyal to Toka, as we can see by my layout. A new origami and Toka awaken. What the? What the? Shido's face? What was that? What the? What was Shido's face? Oh, I gotta go back to that. It is, wait, hold up. Wait, what the? What was his... Wait, hold up, guys. Oh, my... I've never seen Shido make a face like that. Shido looks done. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, everyone, that was the episode. We're done. We're done. I'm looking at chat. In episode 4, Nia said, I thought all spirits were humans before. Are you not? And then she says she had that book for almost 30 years. 
And I was like, girl, what? but I think that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I think what she said in that scene, and I could easily be wrong, of course. I did not read the novel, so I don't know. I think by her saying that, I, I firmly believe that she has used the book. And I could be wrong. But I think she's used the book, and she under. I think there's only certain things that she can find. I don't know if she can get everything, all the information. But I think when she said that, she was correct. I think that indeed, otherwise it would be a throwaway line. I don't understand why they throw that in there. Just if not, just maybe mislead us. Um, I think what she said was accurate, and she saw their reaction. And she's like, oh, too soon, too soon. So she let it go. I do think that what she said there was accurate. That at some point in time, all humans were said it because it doesn't make sense otherwise to me. Like, when we think about Toka, for instance, like, how did Toka come to be? Toka literally described it that when she came to the Earth or whatever, she doesn't have any recollection of what she was doing before then. She suddenly came to when she was just on the Earth. Was Toka made at that point? Or was Toka already in existence that got turned into a Seda and she lost her memory? Um, these are all questions we have to ask. Something's about to go down by Shido's expression. Yeah, I've never seen Shido look like that. That that's, he looks disgusted. Be tasting moi moi kyun. And everybody, I gotta run. I have to head out of here. So everyone on the YouTube side, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like the video, like the video, subscribe, like my content. Greatly appreciate it as always. And with that, I'm Leonard and I'm out. Take care, everybody, and have a good one. Peace.